Hey everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am beyond excited that you are joining me on McCarthy Math 155. You know what? You are the reason that I am here. My mission is to make math fun, make it click and make it stick for you. But you know what? You play a role in this too. Your job is to make sure that you are plugged in into every single lesson. So come on, let's go ahead and jump right into the Mathematical Mindset Creed to get our minds right. This is a safe place to make mistakes. Mistakes help me learn and grow. I am a hard worker. I stick with it until I get it. I am brave. I take charge of my learning. I ask questions when I don't understand. When in doubt, I draw it out, if possible and it's always possible to work it out. I respect and actively listen to the ideas of others. We are ready to learn. Alrighty then, let's get to it and let me teach ya. Hello everybody and welcome to McCarthy Math 155. This is the fourth grade edition and today we are on day 117 where we are converting measurements of length using the customary system. So here are the references that we will need today, which should also be in your notes for growth section of your student copy. So we have that one foot equals 12 inches, one yard equals three feet, one mile equals 5,280 feet, and one mile also equals 1,760 yards. Now, as we've already stated in the previous days for this unit, you do not need to memorize this. Nope, you just need to know how to use it. Really, any time that you're converting measurements, you need to make sure that you have your reference sheet in front of you. Let's go ahead and jump on into number one. So we have how many inches are in seven feet. So just like we've been practicing, let's rewrite this as how many inches are in seven feet. So right here it says that one foot equals 12 inches. So where it's inches, we'll put 12 inches, matching up the units. And where we have feet, we're going to put one foot. All right, so now we're converting from feet to what? Inches. So let's do that on the bottom too, feet to inches. Now let's check out these numbers. We're going from one to 12. So we're increasing from one to 12, which means we need to multiply. So one, times what equals 12? One times 12 equals 12. Same on the bottom, same on the top, okay? So we have seven times 12. I'm gonna write 12 times seven down here and let's solve that. Seven times two is 14. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. Seven times one is seven plus one is eight. So 84 inches, right? Inches is the answer. Pause the video if you need to copy anything else down. And when you're ready, join me for number two. Number two says how many feet are in five yards? So let's rewrite that as how many feet are in five yards? Well, what does it tell us about feet and yards on our reference sheet. Yeah, that one yard equals three feet. So one yard equals, this is the feet side, three feet. So we're converting from yards to feet, converting from yards to feet. So when we are, let's look at the number now. When we go from one to three, we are increasing, which means that we are multiplying by what? Three times three on the bottom times three on the top. So five times three equals what? 15 and then what's our unit? Feet, awesome. Pause the video to get everything else copied for number one and number two, and then let's go ahead and check out number three and number four together. All right, everybody, we're back with number three and number four. Let's go ahead and try these together. So we have how many feet are in six miles? Let's rewrite that as how many feet are in six 
miles. Well, what do we know about feet and miles according to our reference sheet? Yeah, we know that one mile equals 5,280 feet. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of feet. So one mile equals 5,280 feet. Okay, we are converting from miles to feet, so miles to feet. At any point, if you need to pause the video to get caught up with me, that is okay. So now we're taking a look at the numbers here. We're going from one to 5,280. We're definitely increasing, which means we need to multiply by 5,280, right? Same on the bottom, same on the top. And six times 5,280 is, just kidding, we need to go ahead and solve it down here. Whew. When you're ready, we have six times zero is six. Six times eight is, hey sixes, I just met ya. You're kinda crazy. Six, 12 and 18, 24 and 30, 36 and 40, two and 48. So 48, woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. And remember, that's from the multiplication mashup that you can find on YouTube to help you. Each factor has its own song that you can memorize to help you become faster and more fluent with your multiplication facts. Six times two is, hey sixes, I just met ya. You're kinda crazy. Six, 12, 12, and then 12 plus four is 16. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. Six times five is, I bet you know that one, 30, and 30 plus one is 31. So we have 31,680 what? Feet. That's what we were trying to figure out. Pause the video if you need to, and then when you're ready, join me for number four. Number four says, how many yards are in six miles? How many yards are in six miles? So let's look down here. We see that yards and miles are right there. One mile equals how many yards? Yeah, 1,760 yards. We are converting from miles to yards. Miles to yards. So one increasing to 1,760, we're multiplying by that same number. And same on the bottom, same on the top. So we have 1,760 times six. Pause the video if you need to catch up with me. And when you're ready, let's go. All right, we have six times zero, which is zero. Six times six is 36. Six times seven is, we'll do the six song for this. Hey sixes, I just met ya. You're kinda crazy. Six, 12 and 18, 24 and 30, 36 and 40, two, 42 plus three is 40. Five. Six times one is six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10,560 what? Yards. So go ahead and make sure you have all of this thinking down on your paper too. And then I want you to give number five and number six a try and then come on back to check those two. All right, we're back with number five and number six. So let's see how you did. Number five says, how many inches are in 10 feet? So we know that 12 inches is in one foot. We're converting from feet to inches, feet to inches. And when we go from one to 12, we are multiplying by 12 on the bottom. So 12 on the top. And now 10 times 12, 10 times 12 is, well, one times 12 would be 12, and then we add a zero. So 120 what? Inches. Okay, pause the video if you need to make any corrections to your work, and then press play when you're ready to take a look at number six. Moving on to number six, we have how many feet are in 51 yards? Well, according to our reference sheet, we know that three feet 
are in one yard. So we're converting from yards into feet. So yards into feet. So one to three, we're increasing. So we're multiplying by three on the bottom and three on the top. So now we have 51 times three. And how do I do that? Oh, I can bring it down here and multiply, which you should have done so you can help me out. Three times one is three. Three times five is 15. So we have 153 and that's it. I don't need anything else. I'm done. I'm missing something. What am I missing? My units, you're right, feet. There we go. So go ahead and make sure you have all of that on your paper. Make any adjustments that you need to. Jot down any notes that you need to in your notes for growth so you don't make the same mistakes next time if you did make mistakes. And then try the last two, number seven and number eight, on your own. Come back when you're ready to see if you nailed it. All right, last two, we're almost there for today, okay? We've got number seven and number eight to go over. So number seven said, how many feet are in seven miles? And we know that one mile contains 5,280 feet. You gotta make sure you match up your units, so check to make sure you did that. Converting from miles to feet, and miles to feet, so we're going from one to 5,280, so we're definitely multiplying by that same number. Same on the bottom, same on the top. So now we have seven times 5,280, and I've brought that right down here. So if you got stuck and you need to copy this down so far, press pause and then get caught up with me. All right, let's continue. So we have seven times zero is zero. Seven times eight is, ooh. It goes like 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56. So 56. Woo, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing, dude. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 5, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. Seven times five is 35, plus one is 36. So we have 36,960 what? Feet, that's right. All right, let's take a look at number eight. How many yards are in three miles? So we know there's 1,760 yards in one mile, so, so right here. And we know we're converting from miles to yards miles to yards. So going from one to 1,760, we're increasing, so multiplying by the same number. So same on the bottom, same on the top, and now we have three times 1,760, which I've taken off and I've put it right there. So if you need to get caught up with me, press pause if you need to, and then press play when you're ready. Okay, so we have three times zero is zero, three times six is 18. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. Three times seven is, hit me with my threes pretty, please. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, plus one is 22. And three times one is three, plus two is five. Ooh, look at that. So we have 5,280 feet, which is right there. So, but this is not feet, this is yards. There we go. There, there we go. Go. Okay. That's interesting. I wrote my twos differently. Sometimes I do that. But you know what? That is it for day 117. I'll see you next time for some more practice on day 118. Gratitude and kindness I'm gonna
change the world by using my, my gifts. There's only one me and I was born for greatness. My future's bright because I know I'm going places.